Howdy Niner Nation, we're here with Charlotte Women's Basketball Seniors, Sierra Gregory and Lefty Webster as they get ready for their senior night game this week. And uh, we'd like to talk to you guys about what it's been like to play for the 49ers throughout your career. But uh, before we do, with senior night coming up, uh, I'd like to find out from you both, and we'll start with you, Sierra. Uh, what are you expecting out of senior night? What is, uh, what is that night going to be like? Um, I'm expecting a win, of course, but... It's just going to be real different. Like, I feel like when I wake up, I'm just going to be like, it might just hit me then. Like, this is my last time playing in Halton and just my last time playing here with my teammates and stuff. So it's going to be, it's going to be bittersweet. I'm probably going to be pretty sad. Lefty, what about you? <laughs> I think it's going to be fun. I'm excited to do some crazy stuff because I feel like it's my last game. So we got to, like, make sure that the win is, the, uh, the margin between us winning is big so I can go out there and mess up. On purpose. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But I think I agree with C. I think it's going to be bittersweet. I'm going to miss it, but I'm kind of excited at the same time. I was going to say, I mean, how crazy are you going to take the tip? I wish you would. I would I would want to do jump ball. I want to go back to my freshman ways when I used to do, like, spin around 360 layups. <laughs> I want to just shoot it from half court, even though it's like 20 seconds on the shot. <laughs> it's my last game. Like, what is she going to do to me? So <laughs> that's how I really feel. So I hope we can make this margin big. Speaking of someone who's shot from almost half court, it seems, Sierra, uh, you've been one of the best three-pointers in your career with the uh, 49ers, the best three-point shooters in your career. Uh, what has this season been like for you, setting all sorts of records and really just uh, having your shot been with you all season? Um, it's been an honor to be able to uh, be at top of the list of three-point um, career makes, and it's just been fun like being able to play and shoot how I want to shoot and having my teammates and my coaches trust me with my shot and stuff like that. So it's been a lot of fun this year. Uh, what was it like to break the record at FIU? Uh, nine threes in a game. You set the single season and the career mark. Uh, what do you remember from that game? Um, I just remember the first quarter. I think I made like five in a row, and I was just like, all right, this is, this is fun. Like this could be a good game, and I was just like, my teammates were just celebrating me, and it was just it was just a lot of fun. Like the emotions were high, but the energy was so high, like between the team and the coaches and stuff. So it was a lot of fun. Uh, and Lefty, as far as your career, you've had uh, some incredible performances offensively, defensively. You've done a little bit of everything. What do you want to be remembered for? As far as what part of your game do you think was uh, is the most notable? Are you do you want to go down as a, a scorer? A, great defender, an all-around player. What do you think stood out most about your game? I think I want to go down as an all-around player, somebody that just hustled um, on the court on both ends and <laughs> just knowing that I wanted, even when I came in as a freshman, I always told uh, our assistant coach, Nicole, I told I just want to do whatever it took to make us win, and so that's what I want to be remembered as. Uh, speaking of y'all's freshman year, I'm curious, what is your first memory of Charlotte women's basketball coming onto campus? And Lefty, let's start with you. What do you remember from, yeah, freshman year when you got here? What's the first thing you remember about being a part of the basketball team? I, I have a memory, but it wasn't like a part of the basketball team. I remember being nervous the first practice. Like I walked in, I saw all these cones, I saw a bunch of people. I didn't know they were practice players. I just, <laughs> I was real nervous. I, I just didn't know what to expect. Uh, Sierra, what about you? What's your, one of your earlier memories with the uh, Charlotte 49ers? <laughs> my first memory probably getting here was just uh, Lefty was my roommate. And before, like, we had no idea who Lefty was. No social media, no nothing. Didn't have her phone number to text her, no nothing. All I knew was Coach Care just saying, oh, you're going to love her. You're going to love her. Like, she's the best. She's so funny. Like, you're going to love playing with her. <laughs> And I'm just like, all right, like, I have no idea what to expect of Lefty. And so then, like, we meet, and she's, like, this little skinny little, <laughs> she had these little shorts on, and I'm like, and then, and then she just does this crazy laugh, and I'm just like, all right, like, I think I'm going to like her. <laughs> and so it was pretty funny. Uh, speaking of Coach Kara, what was one of the reasons that each of you decided to come to Charlotte and play for Kara Consuegra and the Charlotte 49ers? What was part of that recruiting experience like where you thought, this is the place I want to be? Sierra? Um... I just knew when I came down for a visit, I was I was on a family vacation, and they just like kind of like asked me to stop on my way home. And luckily, I was on that vacation because otherwise, I probably wouldn't have came this far. And I just came, and I I love like the campus, the city, and everything about like Charlotte. And just they just felt real like genuine to me. Like I just felt like they were trust trustworthy, and like I was gonna fit in, and I was gonna have a good time here. And um, I think like the recruiting process is like a hit or a miss, and I think I lucked out like picking Charlotte and being here. Lefty, what about you? Why'd you choose Charlotte? I remember uh, coming on my visit and we went bowling with the team. 
<laughs> I crushed them, and I wasn't even bowling the right way. But um, I just remember afterwards, I ended up going to IHOP, and it was me and my my head, like my assistant coach and my best friend and my mom, and we were sitting across from Coach Kara, and she was basically just being like straight up honest with me, and that's what I like. I just like people to be honest, and she said like, you know, I can't guarantee that you'll start, but I know you'll play. You know. I don't know how many coaches will, like tell you that, like straight up, that you probably like you just gonna play. Cause most people might think like coming out of high school, they know they all good, they feel like they might start or whatever. But she was just like, I know you're gonna play, and I just felt like from there, like I could just trust her and just know that she wanted my best interest and gonna try to have the team's best interest, and I just liked her and the team. Is there a uh, a favorite game or a favorite memory of the last four years? Just a, a game that's really stood out that uh, you look back and think that's gonna be one of my all-time favorite games that I've played for the 49ers. Uh oh. <laughs> I don't know. Or maybe like when you've gone gone back home to Norfolk to play ODU, or what what are those games like for you? And going home is always exciting because I get to play in front of a lot of my family members and friends that don't get to see me here because I came five hours away. But I think like a memorable game for me, I love watching C shoot these crazy shots. I mean, you know, when the shot clock's winding down and she like chunks up a three that's like back there at Halton and it just goes, it'd be all net too. So I think I have fun like watching my teammates score in like crazy ways. So like not like a good way, like that's your kill shot. Like what Coach Kara said, your kill shot. Or something. But like I just like watching my, yeah, I like seeing everything opposite. So Laya jack up a shot that she wasn't supposed to shoot at the end of the shot clock. Yeah, shooting layups backwards, you know. If King was playing, she would shoot a three, knowing she wasn't supposed to shoot a three. Like, I like seeing stuff like that. So. I think that's happened one time. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I think so, but she'd be wanting to, and so I like seeing stuff like that. Uh, Sierra, what about you? What are some favorite memories from you on the, on the floor? Um, I don't know. I have to go with playing at home, playing two games in front of my family in Pittsburgh. I think that was, that was probably my favorite time here in Charlotte, just having, like, all my family and friends that, like Lefty said, weren't, aren't able to really see us play except for on the computer screen or on TV. So I think that was my favorite thing, just being able to go home. And, and I just, like I, I told Coach, like, I'm going to be forever grateful for that opportunity that she gave me to take me home to play in front of my family because she didn't have to do that. And, uh, and lastly, I want to get y'all's thoughts on uh, what your legacy will be uh, when people look back in the record books and see uh, all that you guys accomplished, not only uh, as leaders of this team, but also as, as individual players. And uh, Sierra, we'll start with you. When people look at the three-point records for uh, the 49ers, it's going to be I mean, pretty much everything. Um, what, what do you want people to think about when they see Sierra Gregory? Shooter. <laughs> I don't know. Um... Just that, just to work hard and like, just to, you put the work in, you're gonna get some type of result that you want. It might, I don't, I don't know. Just, just I think both of us, we just, we just worked hard since our, since the day we got here and stuff, and we just, we just kind of always did the right thing, and it just kind of worked out in our favor, I think. So. And then uh, Lefty, for you, I mean, they're gonna see your name all over as far as minutes played. You may end up being the, you know, most minutes played. Get, you know, getting on the floor more than anyone else. You'll be top 10 maybe top five scoring there's it's it's going to be a whole lot of lefty webster yeah well because otherwise what's travis doing he's looking all this stuff up so i can tell you and make you feel uncomfortable yeah so what what do you want people to think about when they see lefty webster's name i just want them to think that i was a, a great player and a great person on and off the court um dang i say court <laughs> on and off the court um I just want, at the end of the day, I just wanted to do whatever it took to help us win so i didn't have to score the points so i didn't have to be like the, best, the player on the court that was stopping somebody, like the best uh, offensive player or something, but I just wanted to be, I want to be remembered as somebody who just wanted to do everything I could to help my team win. Well, I think uh, 49ers fans are going to have a lot of great memories uh, of as you guys continue uh, your careers and, and finish them up with senior night this week. And uh, best of luck the rest of the season in the conference tournament and beyond. And uh, 49ers fans, you can see these seniors Saturday, Halton Arena, 7 o'clock, as they uh, play their senior night game.